and we are back hello everyone welcome back to 5 minutes code channel where i will be explaining the solution of every problem of lead code and geeks for geeks so without wasting any time let's get started but before that if you have not subscribed this channel yet please do subscribe because i am uploading daily videos at midnight and if you will subscribe it will really really motivate me a lot okay all right so let's move on and today's problem is next greater element which is marked as a medium level problem let's find out what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do so we will be given one array arr of integer type and it can contain elements from one to 10 raised to the power 6 so its size array length can be as greater as 10 raised to the power 6 and array elements can be as long as from 0 to 10 raised to the power 9 okay all right and what we have to do we have to return one array list of integer type in java and in c++ we have to simply return a vector and that array list should contain like for each index of this array list it should contain the next greater element for that element okay all right and let me quickly explain you with one example as well so suppose this is given this is given to me one three two four which is array arr okay all right now at zero index in my answer array list in my answer array list at zero index i will fill that element which is next greater to one okay so for one the next greater element which is coming is three look two is also there but like earlier what is the earliest element in the right side of one which is greater than it which is three okay so three will be returned for three which is the next greater element four okay so four will be returned for two also which is the next greater element four so four is returned and after that for four is there any next greater element in this no so we have to return minus one okay this is what this problem is saying okay all right i think this next greater element will be very very clear to you you can also read this line next greater element of an element next greater element of an element in the array is the nearest element on the right which is greater than the correct element okay so it means for one look uh, if there are two ways next greater element can be three because three is the next like uh, uh, nearest element because three is the nearest element on the right which is greater than the current element okay so that's why for one answer will be three for three it will be four four in this way okay i hope the problem statement will be very very clear to you let's quickly understand this with one more example so for here which is the next greater element for 6 8 so i will add it okay for 8 which is the next greater element no there is no greater element for 8 i will have minus 1 at this index after that 0 so for 0 what is the next greater element 1 okay for 1 what is the next greater element that is 3 so 3 and for 3 is there any next greater element no so i will return minus 1 in this way we will keep on doing and at last we will simply return one array list i hope the problem statement is clear uh, for this 10 20 like for 10 what is the next greater element 20 for 20 what is the next greater element 30 for 30 what is the next greater element 50 and for 50 which is the next greater element none so minus one fill at minus one and that's it we have to return the answer i hope a problem statement is clear let's think of the approaches one by one whatever approaches is coming in my mind first approach is simple brute force we will use two for loops one for loop another for loop and in one for loop i will uh, like for one i will move on from j is equal to i plus one and keep on moving to the right side and for one i will check here if my j arr j is greater than arr i at any point whenever i will get that i will simply populate that number okay for three again i will do my j will start from here and it will keep on going for like at any point if arr j is greater than arr i simply fill it four okay in this way we will keep on doing and uh, the time complexity of this approach is n square because we are uh, iterating over this array like two times for each element like i'm iterating this whole array for each element so time complexity is n square and if we will see uh, the total number of array size it says 10 raised to the power 6 and n square will result in 10 raised to the power 12 time complexity which will give me time limit exceed which will give me time limit exceed so we have to better our approach we have to optimize our approach okay all right how can we optimize our approach one uh, solution is coming in my mind with which we can 
optimize that solution is here currently in our brute force approach for each element i am iterating this array whole for two also i will like iterate the right side fully for each element we can optimize that part okay so what i am going to do i am going to have one stack data structure let's move on to one node and here i will tell okay so what is coming in my mind i will have a data structure like look at any point suppose uh, my iterator my uh, pointer uh, whatever we will say will come at four okay so now i have to check ki yaar in the left side in the left side what elements next greater what elements my answer can be four like for what elements so for three is my answer can be four no because for three five is already there okay for five can my answer be four no because four is less than five for two can our answer be four yes correct so i will add four to it at in my answer error list in this way we can get so how can i iterate to the left one point is to again and again iterate over the whole array which is really wrong and uh, another approach is to use a stack data structure a stack data structure for this okay so how i am going to approach this uh, this is my stack okay and uh, this is my answer array list okay all right so first of all when i get 3 i will simply populate uh, zero index 3 at 0 so zero index i will simply populate okay after that what i am going to do when i get 5 i will check ki yaar in 5 like for 5 in stack is there in stack are there elements for which 5 can be answer so how can i get that arr uh, of uh, stack dot peak arr of stack dot peak is less than is less than arr of i if this position condition is true i will simply populate my arr st dot peak index with arr i okay all right so let's first of all see for zero for zero index arr zero which is 3 which is 3 is less than 5 yes correct 3 is less than 5 so simply remove this from the stack and fill at zero index at zero index fill 5 okay so 5 is filled all right moving on now uh, like currently i am at 5 so i will add 5 which is one index one index to my stack okay after that i get 2 so i will again check yaar yeah, for 2 can i like can 2 be the answer for any of the left indices keep on checking so for 1 like arr 1 is 5 so is 5 less than arr of i which is 2 no okay move on so now add two index at as as well in the stack after that i get four so can four be the answer again i will check like for two arr of two is two so two is uh, less than four this is not two is less than four which is correct as well so for two index like two index is also two okay so two correct i can fill so now two will be popped out and at two index i will simply fill what four okay again now uh, for one again i will check like for one i cannot fit because like one is arr one is five okay so now fourth index four number which is third index will be filled okay now i get seven when i get seven what i am going to check again st dot peak which is 3 uh, so arr of 3 is what four so four is less than seven which is correct simply popped out simply pop this 3 and uh, fill seven okay after that again one index arr1 is 5 which is less than 7 correct so remove one from the stack as well and fill 7 here so now look i am that's why i am storing these indexes in the stack because i have to populate my answer at for that index okay again i get 6 so when i will get 6 again i am going to do same thing like first of all 7 will be added 7 index is what fourth four index will be added after that i get 6 so again i am going to check ki arr of st dot peak is what 7 is 7 less than 6 no okay so fill this index as well 5 is also filled after that i get 9 so when 9 is got 9 is there uh, very very simple again i am going to do what 9 arr of st dot peak is what 6 is 6 less than 9 correct so remove 5 and fill 9 for that similarly what for similarly what similarly for 4 arr of 4 is what 7 7 is less than 9 okay so for that as well uh, add 9 and after that 9 again will be added so 4 is also removed 
9 is only remaining so uh, like when we, i will iterate over this whole array after that whatever will be remaining in the stack simply put minus 1 those so this is my answer i have like explained it with a dry run and i think the problem approach will be very very clear to you this stack at any point this stack at any point will tell me those indices which are not filled yet which are not filled yet okay so now look very very curious case is there uh, suppose my array is something like what four is there and then three is there and after that two is there okay and after that five is there okay so again stack is there similarly first of all four index fourth index is what zero i will add after that when i get three so uh i will again like check the arr of st dot peak is what four four is less than three no so add three which is one index as well to the stack again i get two so now what i'm going to do i'm going to check the arr of st dot peak is what three three less than arri arri is what two which is not so like if i cannot fill at one index i can also not fill at zero index so i'm not going to like use a loop i'm just going to check st dot peak so why it uh, why is this true because if look if uh, current element is less than 3 so it will be less than 4 as well why because otherwise look uh, if it is in stack if this zero index is in stack it means it is greater than 3 okay otherwise if it is less than 3 if it was supposed to so this zero index will be popped out and 3 will be there in the answer but here it is 4 it means it is less than 3 and this 3 is less than 2 it means 4 is also less than 2 so like i'm not i'm i don't need to iterate over this whole array again and again i just need to check st dot peak i think this point is very very clear and this is the intuition behind it as well so now very very simple i'm just use going to use one answer array list one stack of integer type iterate over this whole array and for each element for each element i arri simply check in each stack what indexes i can fill and at last remaining indexes will be minus one okay all right i hope the problem statement problem approach and the intuition behind it will be very very clear to you now let's simply move on to the code section but before that if the approach is clear if i have explained it clearly please subscribe the channel and comment down is the intuition clear okay all right moving on so i'm going to use in java but the c++ code also will be on my github you can get it from there so now simply initialize one stack of uh, integer type st is equal to new stack okay all right so one point is there uh, i have to initialize our answer array list as well now look as i told ki those elements whose answer will not be there i have to uh, do minus one okay so if there does not exist next greater element for any element we, it will be minus one okay so what i'm going to do now i'm going to fill minus one to all the answers to all the elements in the starting okay uh, so i'm going to do something like new array list of uh, so i'm going to do the java 8 function here collections dot n copies of arr dot length and fill minus one there okay so it's just a, a quick way to write it otherwise you can use a for loop as well so what this is doing it is making n elements arr dot length elements in putting arr dot length elements into this answer array list and initializing them with minus one okay all right i think it's clear if you are in c plus plus make sure to check my github okay so now simply iterate over this whole array one by one i is equal to zero i is less than arr dot length i plus plus okay and after that look now i have to check if arr i can be the answer of any indexes in the left okay i think you guys are getting so while arr of uh, while not st dot is empty first of all stack should not be empty and then what if you remember the condition i wrote arr of st dot peak uh, arr of st dot peak is less than arr of i simply very very simply what i'm going to do i'm going to put it so arr arr dot set in java we use arr dot set and like index should be st dot pop and element will be what arr of i 
very very simple and at last when i will come out of this while loop here simply put ht dot push i index is pushed and at last i will simply return the answer so this condition this is the only code which is doing all the part simply checking key if arr i can be the answer and if it yes keep on continuing till we are getting this condition true okay and at last simply submit it i have already explained why this condition is there uh with this you can see like 4325 why i am only checking hashtag dot peak and not all the elements okay so it is giving me some error what i'm doing arr no arr not answer it should be answer not arr let's try to compile it again meanwhile if you have loved the explanation if you have any queries please ask in comments if you got it make sure to subscribe the channel like the video and comment down let's try to submit it directly now and uh, yeah, it is getting accepted, looks like. So that was it for today. I am going to see you again tomorrow. Till then, keep on coding, subscribe the channel, like the video and bye.